We're here with uh, Francis Fisher. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. What brings you out tonight? Uh, this is the second annual that uh, Allison has done with her foundation, and I was here last year, and I support her wholeheartedly because I think the work she's doing with the foundation is great, you know, giving animals homes. And what type of uh, animals do you have uh, running around your home? I have two little doggies that I've had for eight years, and I've had animals all my life. And these guys are in my life now, and hopefully for a long time. Well, you've, you've obviously been in the public eye for a long time. Uh, we are goodcelebrity.com, and so we're always asking uh, celebrities, what else are you doing um, with, with your celebrity to help people uh, and do good things? Well, I'm a board member of the Environmental Media Association. I'm on the board of Screen Actors Guild. Well, now Screen Actors Guild, SAG-AFTRA. There are a lot of issues that are happening in the world, and it's the domino effect. If you think about what's happening with animals, then you go into factory farming, you realize that big ag is polluting the planet as 50% of the carbon, I mean, the emissions uh, going into the atmosphere are the result of factory farming. It's animals that are doing it, not just, you know, fossil fuels. So then you think, okay, all the fossil fuels, Josh, Josh Fox has an amazing new film, the third in his trilogy, you know, he did Gasland, Gasland 2, and now this is how to love the world. You're obviously well informed about all of the, the things that are happening with um, farming and the environment. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, the, the same things that we see. I remember when, when China polluted the Yangtze River mm -hmm. and nobody thought that that would ever happen, you know, and you had all of those villages um, mm -hmm. that are, you know, on the banks of that river and it's like the main water supply source, you know, yeah. and then watching the Olympics and going, you know, now oh, they're trying to create weather and it's it's just a bizarre yeah, and, you know, and, series and, of situations. And the bay in Rio, in three months they're going to be swimming in that right. bay that's, right. you know, f over 50 percent sewage. Yep. It's really bad. Yeah. And the Zinka virus and full blown. Down yeah, there as well. so, yeah. So how, do, how does it, I think, I think people have to have a reality check, you know? The, pol the pollution that is in China with all of the businesses that they have and the factories, we think, oh, that's China's issue. It's not because we buy the cheap clothing that they make. So that is something that is just very, um, uh, it has to stop because we're just destroying our atmosphere and we're hurting people because they're working for low wages. I think people have to have a reality check, you know? I mean, I'm still learning, and if I make a mistake, I admit it, and I learn from it and move forward. But people who are denying climate change, like, that's just absurd, and it's arrogant, because they're not even helping their own children. They're thinking about the money that's in the bank. The arrogance of people who just think that they can just seal themselves off behind their own little walls or big walls. And you know, too bad for the other people who are suffering. When you hurt, I hurt. On some level, we all feel each other's pain. Yeah, I mean, this is the best interview I've ever done. Thank you very much. Thing, because I can talk about real things, you know. That's the, We're trying to change the tone of the overall media. Well, thank you very much for spending some time with us and, and really appreciate the interview. Yeah. I can't wait to talk to you again. It's so refreshing.